My name is Caitlin Maisley. I'm an artist and architect. I've had a career in the arts um, for the last 20 years. Most of the work is large-scale drawings on walls, and I've decided to pull those drawings off the walls and actually create those architectural pieces themselves. And now I'm going to try out the Microsoft Surface Studio 2. So this is SketchUp. Um, it's a software that uh, many architects use, lighting designers use. It's also an easier version than AutoCAD or, or Revit, which, is, which are more complex. That's one of the great things about SketchUp is that it's, it's basically easy. You can just play around. You can apply like colors and textures. This is nice, actually, this feature that I can really do that, but also hold the stylus at the same time. I had an impulse to turn the whole screen this way or diagonal so that I could lean into it a little bit more. I'm, I'm a little hesitant to put my hand on it. I'm trying to figure out where to put my elbow. I work on a drafting table. So like th for me, the drafting table is a lot like this. It's, e it's either flat or flat low like a desk or flat raised and sometimes this is actually quite nice because if there's someone sitting next to you and you need to show them uh, a specific detail or you're making a presentation of your work then this is actually quite good. Um, I, I think that it's great for explaining spaces as if I was designing a museum. This would be like a conceptual um, idea for a space or something. It could be a nature center or a library or water treatment. It'd be something like that. You know, if you're drawing for a um, large period of time, you know, you can get yourself to sit up. And that's something that, that architects and artists have to be careful of is their postures and their back. <laughs> like always leaning over. So actually it's quite a good idea to be like, oh, I need to sit up. This is great for where you're sketching, you're doing concepts, you're doing um, site planning, um, programming diagrams. I really like the way that I can zoom in and out in SketchUp and then I can just select orbit and I can, I can, oh that's quite nice actually. I really enjoy how I can zoom in instantly and, and then rotate at the same time. That's, that's a great feature, actually. The sliding thing is weird, though. I want it to stay. <laughs> I, why doesn't it stay? <laughs> um, I think I have to take it off, otherwise it's gonna like fall on the floor. But if you can, but, oh, you can also use it on the table. So, you know, that's fine, too. Today we tried out Illustrator and SketchUp, and I found that the SketchUp um, presentation and process of drawing on it seemed pretty good. Um, it was more instantaneous, larger, I could see so much more of what I was doing instead of on a small laptop or even if I had a dual screen. I really like the size of the screen. Um, I like that you can move it um, like at a 45 degree angle or straight up because then if someone has to come and collaborate with you at your desk or you need to show it a quick presentation, it's instantaneous. Um, I do wish that it would go entirely flat sometimes, just because the way that I draw with my arm and my hand, it would feel a lot more natural. I mean, I actually thought this would be more than what you told me. You said like 4K? Yeah, I thought, I would guess that this would be more than that actually. Um, but if it was less than that, I think small offices would have these more. And I also think universities would have it. And that's a big deal because the architectural departments and universities really need the latest um, software and presentation and all of these different applications to you know, prepare their students to go out into a very competitive wor world of architecture.